YouTube's a just come on my YouTube channel. The Yaros Povidayo, so he will think fair to your donkey, brought on an avidic music content. Si hutsios veto, yak for domak, dak imalma domak artist. Ja, und besagt war, schon noch wie eine Publika, schon wie eine Bullende, da das schön auf dem Nixosium. Für die Hütte des, dann mal hocken, na du, der Bibelsbett des, der Wicke dabei, der lassen sie nur du, dann noch wie ich nicht artistisch. Now, my next reaction of today, big, big, massive smiles, the Eurovision Song Contest, incidentally, Jerry and Aliani Aliana. Now, they're obviously Mother Teresa, I have been supporting them from you know how long I've been supporting them. I sent um, Ali Ali Aliana um, a message yesterday and she just sent me a reply. I don't, I know she hasn't got much time and anything else, but she sent me a love heart and that was absolutely amazing. I'll put it right back here just to show you. I just said, you know, I'm really proud of you guys. Um, guys. I also sent Jerry um, a message as well, but Jerry, it takes so long to reply. I said happy birthday to her and she replied back to me about three months later. I didn't even realize that I actually sent her a message. It's like, so she's got a crazy lifestyle. So look, so happy. I'm ready to press the play button. Um, I promise that I won't sing along, but look, let's go for it. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? The stage is wonderful, as you would know it would be. Brilliant costumes. I didn't realize about the floor. You see it? Lovely. Look at the floor. The one is that he is. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. Sorry. So I just had to stop there. The entrance, fabulous. I love that some something about the kind of the dark beige brownie colour on stage. It just gives you that warmth energy. Um, and you know, that coziness. And she just certainly delivered. The entrance is amazing. The floor when she was walking, that was absolutely amazing. And the dress, the costume, brilliant. Now I um, I did see the way how um, Eliane Eliane was dressed as well. Absolutely amazing as well. But I thought that it would be lovely and fitting if they had a sort of like a, you know, a, a Bodicea kind of, I don't know if it's called Bodicea, is it Bodicea or Bodicea? Bode, I can't remember. But a kind of, you know, that Viking warrior. warrior. Um, but I do like the contrast between the two um, uh, costumes. She is absolutely going to smash it. Why? Because Jerry How Jerry How is not only, Jerry How, sorry, is... She always going to bring that um, theatrical element to the stage. Yeah, she knows how to use the stage. She knows how to move her, the essence of her body when she's flowing with music. And this is going to be her true self. And she's going to pull it to the absolute pinnacle. She's going to bring it to the abs absolute pinnacle. That's what I'm saying. I don't think there's going to be any person um, on uh, any competitor female competitor on stage that's going to show more theatricalness on the uh, and presence on the stage than what Jerry L's going to be presenting. Because she does it all the time. She knows, like I said, she, she's coming from um, a performing arts um, side of things. Yeah, you know, she's gone to university and college, she went over to New York and all that kind of stuff. So she's using the whole ensemble of what is performing arts. Yeah, the singing, the acting, the whole element on there is going to be, she's going to show it on the stage. Yeah, and that's what it shows. And I think that's what shows her being a cut above the everybody else. Yeah, outside of the music element. Watch. I'm going to go back just a little bit. To about say here. You've got a comfortable state. She loves the state. Look at it. 
She's totally in character. Amazing. She knows exactly what she's doing. Look at him. Stars. We'll meet you right. Go on, girl. Smash it. Is that what you took the mic from? Did you not feel the uplift of the music as soon as she, Eleone, Eleone comes onto stage and shows her presence? Yeah, it is just a fitting collaboration. Now, as you know, they have collaborated before. That's what makes it so fitting because they know they, they are, they are comfortable in each other's presence. Yeah, they are quite, they're basically best friends. So what, you know, what better kind of journey than to present and do kind of, you know, a, a duo with your best friend on stage? So, you know, the togetherness, the combination, anything else is fitting and they're going to, and, you know, they're showing it, their present, um, the presence on stage. Clearly, I felt an uplift when she came on stage. There's always, that's the thing about Aliona, Aliona, no matter when she's collaborating with whoever, when you, sh you know her presence, you know, because since she says blah, 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 or whatever the melody is, structure, it does an uplift, a straight up hardcore uplift. And that's what you're getting right now. I am so proud. That's what I said, the message. I said, like, I'm so proud of you girls. I really am. I'm going to go back just a little bit to about, say, here. I like the people. Wow. Listen to the message. I love the Viking warrior, I'm not the Viking warrior, but the warrior. Didn't know your hair was that nice. Stay. It's man. What? That is brilliant. That is amazing. So that was the Eurovision Song Contest. I know there was many, many other artists, but I wanted to kick it off uh, with Ukraine, uh, with Jerry Howe and Eliona, uh, Mother Teresa. <laughs> Look, it seems to me that not only is it a fitting song, and I know that um, in the uh, national selection, Jamela was saying something about, you know, it's got, it may be a borderline touchy subject because not everybody may be as religious or it may not be their religion in that kind of factor. And I know that Jerry, um, and Aliona, you know, said quietly, quite rightly, um, it's more about that. Um, and it is, you can see that you heard that in the, in the lyrical contents is much more about that. Um, like I said, the theatricalness element is a quality that you either have it or you don't, you know, that naturalness. And like I said, Jerry has certainly has that. She was in a in her own realm. She really, really was. That was just ducks off a of water's back for her. A normal day at the work, at the, at the office. Sorry, normal day at the work. Normal day at the office, right? Amazing. There, there's going to be so much. Whoever wins is going to be amazing. But 
I feel just out of this particular performance, you can see who a firm favourite is. But and and it's not only and, and I just I want to stem away from okay the unfortunate events. Put that to a side, which you can never do. You can never ever do. But this is the the, um, the Eurovision Song Contest. is is about the competition. It's about the song. It's about your presentation. It's about doing your music, and they're doing that outside. Of that. Yes, they are representing. But on the competition alone, brilliant. Now we've seen all of the uh, the uh, contestants, and like I said, it's going to be about. Uh, it's not only going to be about the vocals. It's always going to be at the presentations as well. That is a bar. Yeah. And I know there is some fantastic singers out, um, in there. But they've got to absolutely bring it upon bringing it. Yeah. It's not only about your vocals now. It's about your stage presentation. You know, what? how are you going to deliver? What's the quality you're going to bring outside of um, your vocals? Yeah. There's a template right there. <laughs> it really is. A, 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 oh, man. I can talk about this for ages, and I won't. Um, I'm going to stop right there because I have to now look at the other um, uh, contestants and which one I'm going to react to um, next. So if you like to see me react to any of the other uh, countries, just put it in order. Which one would you like me to see? Or indeed, leave your comment and let me know who are you supporting? <laughs> I'm supporting so many. I am. I'm supporting everybody, but there is a favourites um, and the, the likability. There's so much different kind of combinations. That's why I'm supporting everyone. Um, but I'm, I'm so happy that Ukraine has always done well. Apart from Tavolchi, um, which I think they changed it anyway. They've always bring their, the language element into their performance, which is slowly diluting from a number of other countries. I believe there's, there may be more countries singing in English rather than in the native language in this competition. And I feel that somewhere along the lines, they have to draw to get that balance. I've said this before in my other previous um, reactions, is um, that after I've looked at all of the com um, the competitors, is it's very hard, if I close my eye, to tell what country you're actually from. And that should be the easiest part. Some people agree with me, some people don't. I understand that the world is developing. I understand there's going to be inspiration and people's going to be inspired, whether it be culture, musical elements, dress fashion, whatever have you. I get that. That's not a problem. I beyond, you know, go for it. But when you start singing in a second language rather than your own native language, knowing that if you did sing in your native language, you're going to bring all that a lovely, you know, the things that happen in your native language, you know, to the stage. That must be the most beautiful thing ever. There's so much abundance of different kind of cultures. You know, there's the younger generations are, I feel that are, I'm not saying forgetting that. They're just quickly choosing the other options rather than dig, diving deeper into their background culture and bringing that and innovating that and bringing that to the forefront. Like Ukraine do all the time. You see, they've got poems from like 100 years old and the likes of um, Artem Pivorov or um, Ocean Elsie or the Boombox family um, or Shumai. They, they go dive in to those old, amazing um, uh, um, poems and bring them back to light. So, you know, it, there's no excuse not to do it. So there's my little rant and rave. But yeah, Ukraine, amazing. And that is, a, I, I think, a footmark for everybody to take note and say, right, OK, we need to emulate or even beat if we're going to stay in this competition or if we're going to have a chance in, you know, being successful in this competition. And just to mark it off, I would love them to win. But knowing this competition, it must have been the Netherlands. <laughs> Until next time, I salute you. Boom!